Welcome to the next session in my series on how to fly an FPV multi-rotor using FPV Freerider Simulator as our learning environment. Uh, in this session we're going to do another set of more nuanced uh, moves uh, as opposed to the flashier acrobatic moves, aerobatic moves. Don't worry, I got some of those coming as well, but I thought it was time to you know work on the more subtle side a little bit, do a couple sessions on that. So in this session, we're going to go to the playground. And I don't have a lot of exposition to talk about these moves. Uh, but what I'm going to ask you to do is throttle up and fly very slowly and precisely through the many small and tight gaps that the playground makes available to you. This will really challenge your altitude control and your sense of spatial awareness. I said in one of the earlier lessons that hovering was one of the hardest things to do in FPV. It's much harder than flying forward. And this is going to start challenging your ability to do that because you're almost, in order to go this slow, you almost have to hover. Very precise throttle control and very slow inputs. Depending on how much camera up tilt you have, the more camera up tilt you have, the harder it will be to go this slow and this precise. Now I'm just on the ground. Um, so challenge yourself by, don't change your up tilt, don't reduce your up tilt just to make this exercise easier. But keep the up tilt, oh hello. Keep the up tilt the way it is and practice being able to go slow. This will also enhance your ability to land. Landing is hard because with up tilt, harder with up tilt, because, uh, because you can't always see where you're going. This will get you used to moving slowly with the up tilt. As it, and will make it easier to land if you're used to that. Just go slowly. This will give you a lot of practice at very precisely managing your speed and position. And if you get good at this, when you're moving slowly enough, you should be able to hit very small gaps. I'm picking up speed. I should try to slow it down just a bit. I'm always having to cross-adjust between my copter and, and the simulated copter, so it's a bit of a challenge. It's okay. Nothing wrong with a bit of a challenge. Uh, well, that would never fly in real life. Yeah, so that's the exercise I want to give you. I uh, don't have a lot of exposition to talk about and, uh, you know, no, 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 no deep, deep theoretical concepts here. Just fly very slowly and in a controlled manner around the playground. Try to fly through the tiniest spots. Challenge yourself to make turns. See, that's much harder than flying straight, isn't it? Making a turn like that in a controlled space is much harder than flying straight through. When you're flying straight through, you only have to manage your speed. You basically have to manage your speed and your altitude you do not have to manage, you know, coordinating any sort of turn or anything like that. You can kind of just rush through it. See, trying to make this turn is extra challenging. I have to adjust my throttle while I go. I did it. So that's it. Don't try anything super fancy. I mean, try it if you want to, but that's not really the goal of this exercise. It's not to go super fast, but just to go slow and get really nice and precise control. And of course, once you can do these things slowly, you can start getting more confident at doing them quickly. All right? Well, that was a good shot. That was a good try. Will I even fit through there? Oh, barely. Yeah, you can get more confident at doing them quickly once you can do them slowly. Uh, my my philosophy is that I do move slowly and work up to doing them quickly. Once I can confidently do them slowly, I go a little faster. 
and a little faster until I can hit them quicker. Uh, that's not everybody's philosophy, but that's mine. Um, so give that a go, and I will see you next time.